Welcome back. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus uh, TV Africa. Away from the economic matters, we will be facing uh, security or insecurity right now. And uh, specifically, we'll be talking about um, banditry and banditry. And uh, not all bandits are criminals. That's according to the Zamfara state governor. And the, and the, the lawmakers at the National Assembly are saying to the president, uh, grant amnesty to repentant bandits. And uh, Zamfara is saying again that they are spending 200 million naira on repentant bandits in this year, 2021. Uh, joining us uh, to discuss all of these issues are two gentlemen. Uh, we have Emmanuel Ikole, the National Coordinator Network on Police Reforms in Nigeria, Noprin, and of course, Nuruddin Adigbinru, a social commentator, is also joining us on this discourse this morning. Good morning to you, Emmanuel. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Good morning, Justin. Uh, maybe I may not really be a lawyer. I let me just break it down, or you break it down for me. Bandits, banditry, is it not criminal related in any way? Yeah, banditry it's uh, criminal in nature, and uh, every organized state actually they have the power to, to handle issues of crime. Punditry is actually a crime, and it's not allowed in any country. And Nigeria, to be precise, it's also a crime here in our country, and it's not something to be welcomed by any process or by any agency, be it of government, be it of citizens. So punditry is a crime, and uh, Committing this crime actually have its own penalties attached. So it's not something that we use kilos to handle. Okay, so if, if, if I shoot in fair, if banditry is a crime, uh, so a bandit should be a criminal. I mean, if um, it's been proven in the court, right? So should there be any justification where a bandit cannot be called a criminal? You know, um, in every sector, there are a group of persons that um, try sometimes to accept a wrong norm of life to become a normal thing. In our country, what is bad is bad. Although a lot of doctors are trying to decriminalize it, make it suiting and make it uh, acceptable. But it's a crime, a very grievous crime. No matter how we try to put it, a lot of reporters are calling for an agency to handle or to an agency to take charge of care of repentance and uh, reformed bandits. I think this is a step in the wrong direction. And whatever is wrong should be found that the last, it shouldn't be accepted in any quarters for, for whatever reason. There's no justification for accepting bandits anyway, be it in Nigeria or be it anywhere. So what is wrong is wrong. A lot of persons are trying to co talk It's a similar thing handled, uh, happened in the uh, Niger Delta, where a uh, militant were actually being uh, rehabilitated and they're being given certain privileges. And because of that, they're giving it as a right for an agent to be formed to handle this. Which country does that? So we today also, uh, at the level of CSOs, we actually try to be out and very clear of the uh, issue. This issue should then be taken, uh, should be, uh, be accepted, and those calling for an, an agency to handle this should actually think not just about their pockets, because it's gradually becoming a money bench, making venture for a lot of persons, so they are calling for more money to be pumped here. Instead, that money should be given or supported security agencies to address this issue once and for all. So it's a crime today, tomorrow, and it remains so. Okay. So I, I had to take the liberty to go and check the meaning of banditry because I, had, I listened to uh, Zamfara State Governor Beto, uh, Bello Metawali, and it says here, according to Wikipedia, that banditry is a type of organized crime by outlaws typically involving the use of violence. 
caught now, he said, Wikipedia has said this, it's, it's on Google, it's general knowledge, that banditry is a crime involving violence and the use of arms. But uh, Zanfra state governor insists that not all bandits are criminals. He actually stated that most of these bandits, in quote, take up arms because the communities that they reside in rustle their cattle and attack them. So they take up arms to defend themselves. These were his words. What's your position on that, Manuel? Um, as I stated, uh, I stated earlier, banditry is a crime. There's no justification for any crime. A lot of persons grew out from very poor areas, but instead they strive to make income from the right, uh, right source or the right ways to be better persons today in life. So there's no excuse about this piece. Yes, there may be limitations of the government failing to provide certain amenities like school. This is not um, the issue or a reason to support the banditry. And there's nothing like um, they are good bandits and they are bad bandits. Once like a band, any banditry is bad. Okay. There's no justification for it. All right. And, and the same government, the same uh, state government has already um, from the, the news we got is already planning or has given us certain uh, vehicles and it's planning to do this. It's wrong. There are lots of resources needed at this time. If I recall properly, the federal government is even looking for places to put money. All right, let's um, the same point to end up. And indirectly, we are saying this should be the new normal. So everybody going to it because you'll be supported with funds. All right, uh, let's um, bring um, Nuruddin Adigbe Ro into this conversation uh, right now. Emmanuel, we'll get back to you. Okay, he's not ready. Okay, let's continue with uh, Emmanuel. Now, if uh, the governor is saying that uh, not um, all bandits are criminals, is it, what does it really tell on the part of governance in this, that particular state? Is it a thing that um, it has failed um, to meet uh, the expectations of the average uh, citizen or the average resident in the state, or a thing that... Uh, uh, there are misplaced priorities on the part of the government of that state. The primary aim of any government is security of lives and property. And they are also selling responsibility and supported allocations to be able to provide these amenities for its people at the same time and ensure the security of lives. But in a situation where this government and other governments have decided that these funds are located to address these issues are used to personal benefit. So instead of prioritizing and trying to provide these amenities that will get these young persons involved in school, instead, the, over time, they have used it for their own personal benefit. That is why they are limitations of school, and these persons have been unable to go to school or they have failed to make it free for everybody to be able to also attend. And just like I said earlier, trying to say, okay, because uh, these are your persons, so it's a normal thing to them to be banned. No. Once you commit a crime, they are paying out this for each crime. As a young person, there's also a limit. As an adult, there are limits. There are pleasure centers both for adults, both for adolescents. And what is the all these detention centers, they are now being called correctional centers. Means they are at least to actually rehabilitate and be able to uh, attend to the psychosocial uh, needs of these young persons or these young persons that have found themselves committing crime. All right, Emmanuel, we'll so come back to you in a bit. To bring them to the all right, Emmanuel, we'll come back to you in a bit. It's still uh, the Breakfast on Plus TV African, and we are looking at tackling banditry in Nigeria. We'll take a quick break and return with more. Stay with us. <laughs> 